Oh, this is pretty cool. We're allowed to read some light. So if you have an old laptop, this thing's from like 2008, 2009, something like that. It's funny, it still has the, uh, the Wi-Fi from uh, next door where I used to live. We used to pirate their Wi-Fi. Shh, don't tell them. Because when it was all open, because we didn't have Wi-Fi networks. I had the South Park router, which you maybe saw in a older video that I modified into a switch, which I'm using right now. The old Linksys 10100 router, I mean switch. So we got this thing, Linksys, but it's made by Belkin, apparently. So this is an adapter. It should really go on a USB 3.0 port, but I don't have one. But it makes it gigabit your internet or data connection. But it's not going to be gigabit on this particular computer because it's actually in an eSATA port that is also um, USB. It has it right here, which is kind of strange. But yeah, you can put it. If you have a 3.0 port, which is a blue one, that's always blue color. Do I have one back here, for example? Yeah, right there. And that was like they have 3.1, I believe, too. That's the other motherboard I could have bought two years ago. They had the NVMe port built in. But we're not talking about that. I made a mistake two years ago, and I'm mad about it two years later. <laughs> For like a dollar or more, I could have got something better. What was it? I didn't know, though, so, you know, you can't blame what you don't didn't know two years ago and what you know now just glad you know it so anyway that I make your connection faster than actually using that port in there because that port is a 10 100 megabit per second this is one gigabit per second wow what's the difference a thousand ten or a hundred and I speed tested this I am correct it is faster with this even an eSATA port than plugging my LAN uh, or RJ, you know, whatever, LAN wire, whatever the fuck you want to call it, Ethernet cable. That's the proper thing. It's late. I'm tired. That's my excuse. Into that port over there. It's faster on this. Weird. Looks funny, but it's an upgrade that you can do on your old laptop and it will work perfectly. I believe um, the other guys. Uh, old guy's laptop he has a old Toshiba and same thing I um, did a speed check on his researched the, um, the specs same thing 10 100 port and it's from like 2011 or something it's not even a gigabit I only have two laptops that are gigabit and this machine is gigabit so that's sure. What the hell is the number over there? I got this B and H photo. Was that a USB three gig? Was that a number? I don't know. Well, that was a number. Yeah, USB three gig. That's a number. It's like twenty bucks. You might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. But it works. Pretty easy install. Comes with a CD, and uh, it speeds up your old computer and the internet. Who would ever known? Another thing I tried, kind of like the NV, NV drive, which is right there. Can't even see it. To like check your speed, you can either go to like a little taskbar thing and click your like network shit over here. Uh, oh, I got updates. Look at that. You know, like your network or your um, network access or your Wi Fi. Click on that. You can open a page. Come on. Actually, no, we got a right click. Open network. What you do is you find your network connection, which is this. Click on it. Page pops up. Look, you'll see your speed. Not necessarily your internet speed, but this be your like data speed if you have like a network, you know, if you're sharing files from computer to computer, you will have 1.0 gigabit per second instead of a uh, hundred. That's what it said in the laptop when I did this at a hundred. And then on Wi-Fi, forget it, man. Wi-Fi is really slow. I have no idea why you even want Wi-Fi in your house. It's slower. You're paying for your internet service. Your Wi-Fi is giving you like half of what you're paying for and plus you're poisoning yourself from the Wi-Fi wa waves. So you're just microwaving your brain. I don't know. That's the deal. Wow. Nine hours, ten hours. And again, all it does is plug it in. And again, it does work in a, a 2.0 port because what this is. I think the max though, like I said, I'm going to get is like 300 uh, megabit per second, but it's still faster than this port. 
So I didn't even think it was gonna work. Again, it was just another experiment, and it worked. And plus, you're really not wearing out. I like it. You're not wearing out this port either, because it's just USB that stays in there. If you unplug it, you're unplugging it here. So I don't know. Oh, oh! They also make uh, stupid adapters that go in a little card slot, but no one really makes them anymore. They're kind of bulky and pointless. But you can also do that, and you get a, a gigabit connection.